What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, I hope I pronounced this right. Uh, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! <laughs> hope I, I seriously hope I pronounced this right. We have Eileen. I, I hope that's pronounced right. Yes, indeed. How about that? Eileen making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Tavern Tech, and this is actually Tavern Tech's prioritized request for the month of July for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So here you go, Tavern Tech. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Tavern Tech want to see me write this song by Eileen called Enemies. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, Wait a minute. Hang on a second. I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Eileen Official. Okay. And the video has 5.1 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Eileen, I hope I pronounced that right. Eileen, enemies, official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Official video coming off the official band's page. You know what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it. But uh, we're just going to hope for the best and we're going to have to wait and see what happens. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Different that time. 
A lot of good things happening here. A lot of good things. Uh, for starters, the subdivisions. Love them. Love them. I love the fact that they're not going back to the well and doing the same one over and over and over again. It's always different. Uh, when they're ending their phrases, I heard uh, a triple fill. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. I felt I heard that one. Another one where they did uh, a 16th to 8th. Uh, really nice. Very clean. Um, the syncopation was right together. Um, the subdivision work is awesome. I'm digging that. I'm absolutely digging it. Now, like I said, I'm glad they're not going back to the well uh, every single time. The play on feel we had there, and I believe it's the chorus where they went, they switched to that double time feel. Uh, really nicely done. Very cleanly done. Good decision. Really helped kind of break up the monotony that was going on. So good call. Uh, nice, thick guitar tone. I'm talking with two C's, thick. Uh, gotta love that, man. Sounds really good. Um, it's not too thick that it gets muddy, but it's, it is super thick, though. Really loving it. Literally, really loving it. Uh, I can actually hear the bass in this, believe it or not. It is there. You have to dig a little bit, but you can hear it. Yeah, you just have to do a little searching. Uh, the drumming sounds good. Loving the drumming. Vocals, very appropriate for the style of music. I love her approach. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm digging everything I'm hearing. Everything I'm hearing, I'm digging. Let's, uh, let's get back into this. Double time feel again. But it's sticking with the double time feel. up a little bit let's uh this sounds like you're gonna have the guitar solo okay so we'll bump it back just a tad that's not i think we're gonna be fine there um again the subdivision work god i mean there it's like every time there's a new one i love it i love it i love the variety i love that it sounds really really good um and it's tight. No denying it's tight, man. The, the, the syncopated subdivisions are just right all together. Super clean between the drums, guitars, and bass. Love it. Have no complaints about it. Nothing but compliments for it. Um, guitar solos, really nice that I've heard. Um, still playing around with the feel. Switching to that, you know, double time feel. Back to straight time. I like the fact that they stayed on the, the double time feel for a while that time before they brought it back to straight. That was nice. Wasn't expecting that. Um, her vocals. I, I'm not talking about ability. I'm not talking about range. I'm not talking about pitches. I'm not talking about support or power. I'm talking strictly from a tone of voice. Her vocal tone reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Floor Jansen. Very similar tone. Not the, I'm not comparing their abilities 
or their talents or their ranges or, or their power and their projection. I'm not talking about any of that. Strictly from a tonal standpoint, she's got a lot of the same tonal qualities that Flory Jansen has. I dig it. I definitely dig it. Um, let's see if we can finish this out and we'll get to the review. I'm not sure. I, I might have to pause again, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I like it. I like it. I definitely like it. The question is, how much do I like it? Uh, that is going to be interesting. I, I have to think about that. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was, I hope I pronounced this right, Eline or Eileen? I think, that's, I think it's Eileen, with a tune called Enemies. This was a request from Tavern Tech. And this was actually Tavern Tech's prioritized request for the month of July for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Tavern Tech. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, okay. I think it was pretty obvious during the course of the reaction that I enjoyed this. I mean, it, it's very obvious that I did. I like it! Question is not an issue of whether I liked it or not, it's how much I enjoyed it. And putting my own personal feeling aside, feelings aside and looking at the song objectively, okay? So, being the objective individual that I am, at least I, I, I try my best to be anyway. I don't always succeed, but I do my best to be objective. Looking at this song, I have a score and uh, here it comes. Brace yourselves. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.4. Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, I'm gonna start off the bat by just saying, I found no fault at all in this song. In the song writing, in the arranging, in the recording, the mixing, the tones, nothing. I, I found absolutely no faults whatsoever. Nothing I would want to change. Nothing I would necessarily uh, make any uh, adjustments to. Every everything to me sounded just fine. Okay. Um, I'd be lying if I would put this up in the nines and say, "Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, it's mind blowing." No, it's not. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It, it is It is great. It is definitely great. And I have absolutely no problem giving it a great score. Um, everything across the board, honestly, was great. It really was. I mean, nothing I would nothing in this I would ever say was amazing or mind-blowing. But I also wouldn't say anything was just pretty good. No, no, everything across the board was great, which is how we're ending up with a great score. Guitar playing, great. Bass playing, great. 
Drumming, great. Vocals, great. Everything was great. The guitar tone is what did it for me more than anything else. I mean, don't get me wrong, the guitar soloing that they did was nice. It was really nice, it was really well done. It was a great job across the board. But the guitar tone is what sold it for me more than anything. Man, was it thick. Good Lord, two C's on that thick. Uh, it was sounded really good, man. Really dug it thick and crunchy, but without being muddy, which is important. I want you to remember that later on because we're going to talk about something else, and that is a key factor, okay? Uh, the bass playing, I could hear the bass. I had to search a little bit for it, but I was able to find it. It sounded good. I got no complaints about it whatsoever. Uh, he did a great job locking in with the drummer. The drumming, uh, I'm actually going to save that for later. Vocals, um, I dig her style, I do. And I'm not talking about from a visual standpoint. I could have, I swear I've seen that that outfit she was wearing before in some movie, I don't I don't know what movie it was. It was I think it was a pretty well-known movie. And pretty, if I'm not mistaken, it was a pretty iconic costume as well. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I digress. Uh, no, I, I'm, on, I'm talking about her style. I'm talking about her vocalization style. Um, her tone, just her tone alone. Very, very reminiscent of Floor Jansen. Uh, a lot of the same inflections, vocal tones uh, that she was generating. I, I, I was getting shades. Now, I'm not talking about range or power or talent or ability. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm strictly talking about the quality of her vocal tone. So, very, re I, I was getting some shades of Flory Anson there. And she sounded great, man, she really did. Um, I, I believe she can go higher and I believe she can go lower. I think this is very mid-range, a very comfortable range for her when it comes to her pitch. Um, she sounded comfortable. I mean, I, now granted, I know this is a recording, I understand, but it, it sounded very comfortable for her. Didn't sound like she was straining, didn't sound like she was pushing either way up or down. Um, I, I'm also willing to bet that she can sing quite a bit higher and probably quite a bit lower too. I bet she, I bet we barely scratched the surface on her vocal of talent. Um, but I liked everything she did vocally, everything sounded good. All right, let's get to the stuff that I really liked. <laughs> let's get to the stuff that really kind of put this over the top into the eights for me. Uh, instead of just getting like an 8.1, you know, we're getting an 8.4. Well, here's your reasons why. Number one, the drumming. I really dug the drumming on this. He really knew how to differentiate between the, hat, the straight time feel and the double time feel and points in between where it felt like it, it was straight time. It, it, listen. He never actually went into double time. It was straight time through the entire song, but he was able to switch up his patterns. So it's not just a straight time, not just a double time, but he was able to do things in between where like he had the double kick going like it was double time, but the snare was still on the on the straight time. You know, he had he had variations in between the two, and I, I like that, I really do. It shows great, great diversity on his part. Um, loved the drumming. The other thing I really loved, the subdivision work, the the, syn the, the syncopated, uh, synchronized subdivision work. It meant it was tight. It was tight. And remember how I talked about the guitar tone, right? Being thick, but yet at the same time, not so thick that it bleeds over. This is really where that comes into play. Every single time when they were in unison and they were doing those subdivisions, man, it stopped on a Dime. It absolutely did. Guitar did not bleed over. Bass did not bleed over. The reverb from the drums did not bleed over. Okay, well, all right. They did bleed over ever so slightly, but they, listen, you can't help it. You're gonna put reverb on drums. You're going to. Anybody who records drums that doesn't put reverb on them, even a slight little bit, shame on them. <laughs> if they're gonna go in there with dry drums, it's gonna sound weird, especially in this style of music. You definitely wanna have the reverb on there but it wasn't so much that the decay bled, you know what I mean? It, there was there was some reverb on there, but the decay was quick. So, gotta love that, man. That The subdivision work was what really did it for me more than anything else. And the reason being was the variety that we heard. We heard so many different types of subdivisions, different patterns. 
like every time there was a different one and i love that because they're not going back to the well and doing the exact same pattern over and over again you know beating that dead horse and it's just like okay we get it you can do a trip of feel what else can you do well these guys showed exactly what else they could do and they did it clean every time loved it loved everything about it listen i think it's a great song i really do and there's a very strong chance this is going to go on some playlists more than likely driving around town and driving to vegas the gym uh, maybe, uh, maybe i i'd be okay i would be willing to put this on the gym playlist and give it a chance i don't think it's gonna stay there i just i don't see that happening but i could be wrong i've been wrong in the past about that so i'm willing to give it a shot and i'm willing to put it on for a couple weeks and see what happens you know but at the same time if it ain't doing it for me i'm gonna take it out but yeah driving around town for sure and driving to vegas absolutely so i liked it i liked it i think it's a great tune and that's why it's getting the great score of 8.4 i feel good with that score and that's where we're gonna stay so 8.4 final score i have spoken well that's gonna do it for this edition of reactions reviews and rants hope you all enjoyed the show hopefully i was able to entertain you if i was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day i did my job and i'm so glad i could do it if you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.